Greg Abbott, you ever heard of him? He's the governor for the state of Texas. On Monday, that governor, Governor Abbott, signed a bill into law that will allow the police to arrest migrants who enter the U.S. illegally. This law, which takes effect in March, allows any Texas law enforcement officer to arrest people who are suspected of entering the country illegally. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen. And before I go a step further, there's an individual by the name of Krish, K-R-I-S-H, Omara Vignaraja, V-I-G-N-A-R-A-J-A-H. That person is the CEO of Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Service, says, quote, by criminalizing the very act of seeking refuge, Texas is turning its back on the values of compassion and due process that make our nation the world's beacon of humanitarian leadership. That is one way to put it. There are various other ways to put it. This is a disgrace. It's inhumane. And it opens the floodgate to further divide our nation because when you have law enforcement that literally can arrest people over a suspicion, think about that for a second. People can be arrested who are suspected of entering the country illegally. Do you realize that that means a law enforcement official can walk up to somebody, all right, they look Hispanic. Okay, they, 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 their English is broken. They don't speak fluid English. So that could be a cause for me to arrest them. Let them deal with the problems later. Ladies and gentlemen, to get out of jail, bail costs money. It ain't free. To hire a lawyer, that costs money. It ain't free. You have essentially opened up an avenue to incarcerate people for no cause whatsoever other than a particular law enforcement official's suspicion. That's what we're going to do to our Latino brothers and sisters. It's racist. Somebody needs to say it, so I'm going to say it. It's a racist ass thing to do. Suspicion? Suspect. Suspected of entering the country illegally. How can you be suspected of entering the country illegally? So you chilling in downtown Dallas or Houston. You hanging out with a bunch of folks. You're speaking Spanish instead of English. Your clothes might not be a Tom Ford suit or something. You might not be wearing a Jordan sweatsuit. You might look a little poor and impoverished, a bit haggardy or haphazard. Those things might, you might not look the part. That's a suspicion. They can literally label that as suspicion to justify arresting you, not questioning you, not asking for an ID. They literally can arrest you. That's criminal. See, what we're really learning here is that there are levels of enslavement. Yeah, I can deport you. I could send you back. Or I could keep you incarcerated. You can feed the system. Another body in there, we know the prisons throughout this nation, to some degree anyway, have been privatized. We do know that, right? You do know that there are people profiting off of folks getting incarcerated, right? If you don't believe me, go back and look at 13. That documentary on Netflix, directed by Ava DuVernay. Go back and look at things like that and you'll see what I'm talking about. What a disgrace. And to think, 
I love this state from the standpoint that it's got no state income taxes. You got beautiful cities like Dallas and Houston and Austin, Texas. I'm looking forward to being in a city like that someday. And then I see a governor like this doing this kind of nonsense. It's a damn disgrace. It really, really is.